Hello, you're welcome to High School Stories. My name is Jennifer and I'm glad you clicked on this video. So I have a couple of videos about Achimota School and I've been getting a ton of questions. Yes, especially now that people, um, the BEC candidates are entering senior high school, I get frequently asked questions and I decided to just make a video about the questions that I'm asked frequently so that I can just direct anyone to this video. So if you clicked on this video because you are going to Achimota School, you are the right place. So let's get into it. Before you come to Achimota School, of course, you need to have selected Achimota School when you were doing your selection process. So this is how it goes. I'm reading from here. Students of various junior high schools must select Achimota School as their first choice school and students must meet the selection criteria for their selected programs. Students must be selected and placed in the school by the computer school selection placement system, CSSPS, yes. And students must report to the school to continue the admission processes. And this goes to foreign students. Foreign students must contact the Ghana Education Service for the details of the placement procedure. And foreign students are not, at this time, as has when I was making this video, they are not eligible for free tuition under the free senior high school program introduced by the government of Ghana. So this is just an introduction for you to know that even before you think about going to Achimoto School, you should have selected Achimoto School as your first choice. And now when you're done with that, then you can proceed. So with the first question I'm frequently asked, how many houses are there in Achimoto School? So I know there are 17 houses but recently, I've been hearing them add a new house and then the name of the house is called New House or something, yes. But I'm not so sure about that because I don't really see them talk about it. But there are 17 houses from the knowledge I know and what I got it. Okay, so I'm going to proceed with the male houses. So we have Cadbury House, I, I hope I remember everything, Lugard, Livingston, and Fraser House. Okay, so let me count. Cadbury, Lugard, Livingston, Fraser, Papon, and we have Gadgetsburg, we have um, ooh, we have Jamfi House, yes, we have Jamfi House, and then we have, I think I've mentioned Fraser, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm very confused. Then with the ladies' house, we have um, Slezer House, Clark House, and that was the house I was in. Make sure you go to Clark House, it's the best house in Achibota School, anyway. So, SOA House, Baita House. Stopford House, formerly OAA House, when I was in the school it was called OAA House. Then we have Atamel's House, IE House, we have Kingsley House, McCarthy, and yeah, that's basically it. So currently there are 17 houses in Achimoto School. Um, yeah, if there are any additions, maybe by the time you go there, there might be additions. But from my research, currently there are 17 houses. So, um, there are two compounds on Achimoto School. We have the Western Compound and the Eastern Compound. So, the Eastern Compound is the main compound where we have the administration, we have most of the houses and everything in the school. The Western Compound has um, a few houses, I think. Yeah, it has, uh, okay, um, Stopford, um, Fraser, Quapon, Baita, Good, Susanna Foriata House. I forgot to mention that house. It's also a female house. Yeah, so these five houses are at the western compound and there is also a dining hall at the western compound and there is a dining hall at the eastern compound so you might be on the western compound or the eastern compound so if you're on the western compound know that you would be walking to school every day you have to go to the eastern compound for class for church i think you prep you prep at the western compound but for the every major program program sorry you would have to come to the main compound which is the eastern compound so another question i also um got was um who is the current head teacher so this is really great so the current head teacher of achimota school as at the time i was making this video is mr ebenezer graham Aqua. and this man was my physics teacher back in achimota school and he's I love him so much. He's a generous man. He's kind-hearted, and I'm so glad you're coming to Achimota School, especially during the time he is headmaster. You're going to enjoy the school very much. 
and also i get this question can you grow your hair in ashimoto school no please so those from um i get this question a lot from those from the international schools who um, were growing their hair before um i mean after bc before bc so you can't grow your hair in ashimoto school everyone has short hair like my even my hair is bushy <laughs> yeah so you need to have short hair unless you have um a peculiar condition maybe uh, a vertical condition that does not allow you to cut your hair and with that you would even need a doctor's report like it's a whole long process so please if you know you don't even have a health condition don't go through that stress just cut your hair and come and if you're going to be in the boarding house i don't think you want to be stressed about how you're going to fix your hair the ladies are going to fix your hair you have to do this now charlie <laughs> you'll be tired because it's stressful you need to combine academics with all the things happening in the school so you need to cut your hair and I got this question, do boys and girls prep together? So my time, that was um, 2013 year group. Um, yes, boys and girls were prepping together. From But from the recent knowledge I got, I'm told that boys and girls don't prep together anymore. So unfortunately, boys prep separately and girls prep separately. I don't know if things will change, but currently that is it. Yeah. Okay, so what aggregate do you need to enter Achimoto school? So this question is very complex. It, it depends. It depends on your course. It depends on, yeah, every, I think every year and the uh, cutoff point, I think. Because my time, the cutoff point was different. The next year, the cutoff point changed. So I think it depends on the overall performance during the um, BC. That is what you are going to, and um, that's what's going to determine the cutoff points. But generally, you have to do well to go to Achimoto School. Of course, it's Achimoto School, and the course you want to also offer depends. Because I, I think when you want to offer gen general science, you need a higher cutoff point than someone going to offer general art or visual art or home account or any other courses. So just relax. Those who keep on asking what grade do you need, what grade do you, just relax. You've chosen the school, right? Pray about it and relax, and hope that you get it because um the aggregate you want to know the aggregate it won't really change anything we've written what you need to write so just pray that you do well so that Ashmata school is going and um, will take you in sorry so currently the courses offered are general art general science agricultural science home economics and visual arts and i'm saying currently because i don't know if anything would change by the time you see this video maybe something would have changed or they would have made an addition but currently that is the courses that are being offered in achimota school general science general arts home economics agriculture science and visual arts and with the general arts there are different combina um, combinations so you know there is literature um, christian religious studies and all of that so when you come they're going to do all those divisions for you so generally Achimoto school offers about 21 subjects so when you come there you do english language maths mathematics integrated science social studies i mean these are core subjects right you do ict and then for the um, art student you might be doing economics history government geography literature and english french christian religious studies and general knowledge in art and for the science students so biology chemistry physics and geography i think that yeah there was another option for geography for the science and then um yeah so chemistry physics biology then um elective maths and all of that so this is generally what we do here then home economics and physical education that's a pe then visual arts yes as i said earlier on so that's basically it so what category is achimoto school in achimoto school is a category a school and it's a co-educational boarding school so co-ed means that it's it admits both girls and then boys so it's not a single set school so yeah achimoto school is a co-educational boarding school so what school uniform does achimoto school wear i'm going to place a picture on the screen so that's a uniform for the ladies and that's a uniform for the guys so that's the basic uniform for school yeah and also um a much more school has a music school and then an art school yeah they have a music school and an art school you know much more school is much more school i mean what do you expect let me show you fit and i get people asking me about the achimoto school prospectus so i'm going to make another video a separate video and i'm going to go into details about the prospectus needed for achimoto school as at 
March 2002 and this is not the final one because um, when you get admission you need to go to the school for the official prospectus maybe there might be an addition but sometimes people need these things these things to start buying the things they need before they go to the school and it's perfect so i'm going to make another video about the prospectus generally these are the things that these are the questions frequently asked questions i get about achimoto school and i have a lot of achimoto school videos on my main channel which is jennifer soma and even on this channel high school stories so if you want to know you want to know more things about achimoto school you can check out my main channel which is jennifer soma I'm going to put a link in the description and you can also check out my previous videos here on high school stories don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can follow us on instagram at high school stories and please please again subscribe share like so that i can give you more content i'll be giving you more high school content thank you so much for watching enjoy your day and see you in achimoto school from gamvaga to accra Mwah.